Here are the vintage sales for the weekend so far. We're on Sunday at the minute. We have sold the Cause figures. We've got the Dissected Companion and the Sitting One. These have sold for £5.55. I paid £1 for the pair on a car boot sale. These have sold to Baz. He says, big fan of the YouTube, Ricky. Keep up the good work. Really appreciate that, Baz, mate. Thank you. I had this listed for £1.99 and Paul sent me a penny offer. We love the bands. I've just realised this is actually a... Oh, he springs around. Anyway, so Paul and Steve from North Ferriby, they've picked this up. Really appreciate you both guys. I don't think you're both going to fit on there, to be honest with you. A username that I recognise now, Onzi Vons, as Adrian has picked up the Amsterdam clog slippers. These were a £2 pickup for the last charity shop video ago, or the one before that. They've, so I had them listed for 11 11 Adrian, bless him, sent me an offer of 12 34 So I really appreciate that, mate. Kind of wish I kept them now, because they are my size, and they look snazzy, and they look really comfy look how soft they look appreciate you adrian recently i showed you some sales of my vintage crayola crayons and a lot of people said oh they're selling so much and one comment actually said i never knew crayons were worth so much i wonder if pizza hut still do the care bear ones they don't but i have sold a pair the set a pair whatever these have sold for two pounds 22 pence nathan's picked up a little bundle from me now so he's picked up for 12 pounds and 37 pence Monsters Inc. on the Game Boy Advance. My Nike Air Max shorts. I wore these for, I don't know, six months and then moved them on. And the Squat Wolf Authentic shorts. He's picked these up as well. So a bundle of three there for £12.37. But Nathan says, thanks, not just for the content, but also for the banter, the insights, and the people you come across along the way. He then finishes the message with, the best reseller channel, Master of Pieces. Thanks, Nath. I'd love to disagree with you, but I can't. Ian's Don. Garfield the Cat mug has sold. Had this on my shelf for two years. Finally got around to doing something with it. £1.99 over on Vinted. This one's actually sold to Amy. She said, buzz in. I make my partner watch you on YouTube all the time. Sorry about that, dude. He's got a YouTube channel where he flies drones all different places called Scotland from above. I got that right. You didn't, Amy. Autocorrect made her say Scotland from about... So if you like drones and you like Scotland, put them both together. Scotland from above over on YouTube for your drony videos. No, that doesn't sound too good. For your drone-tastic videos. Drony is never a good word, is it? The microphone just fell down. I wonder how long it's been out for. I wonder if the audio is even okay. Amy and your partner, you didn't drop his name. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much on its way to you today. Hello, are we still working? Yeah, okay. Another username that I recognise, Mummy of Six, Amy has picked up the Stewie Griffin squeezy stress head another one that i've had those two nah you probably don't remember actually basically i've got two big boxes of stuff random bits i've been throwing in there over the years and i said i'll get around to that one day i'll get around to that one day i'll get around to that one day i never do finally i've got around to some of it so amy i do appreciate it, darling on its way to you today by the way if you do buy something and you don't send me a message and you expect me to remember your username and i forget i'm really sorry about that but I do need some reminder. However, the last few that I've just been doing today, I've recognised the username, so come on. Aaron Lee, best surname in the world, has picked up the Nike hat. Now, let me tell you, this went absolutely mental. I listed it, and it sold pretty much rapidly. Somebody sent a message about it, or a counter-offer, but while they were counter-offering, somebody picked it up, and then I had people on my messages, people on my Instagram, people on my YouTube. Has the hat sold? Is it still available? That sold rapid, and it sold cheap as well. £6.66. It's an older one on that nice Better World tag. I like it. I kind of wish I'd have kept it now. I'm not going to put it on, actually, because it'll mess my hair up. Oh, God, your hair. £5.55. We've sold the Santa Cruz T-shirt. Nice little hit on the back. Nice little hit on the front. Size medium, not my size, which is massively unfortunate because it's my colour and my style. Finally sold it. The Death T-shirt. Mason Mount on the back. I'm not a football person, but you lot were telling me how sacrilege this t-shirt is. Because he left or something like that. I don't bloody well know. I got a message from Lindsay and it says, Ricky, you are my therapy every day. You are also an oracle of reselling knowledge, which has really helped me grow both my vintage and my eBay shops. Your dry sense of humour and sarcasm is just my cup of tea or coffee. That's enough compliments for one day. Love, Linz. So thank you so much, Linz. I really do appreciate it. You're either going to use this as a rag or as a wind-up or you're a super fan. <laughs> I appreciate you massively. 
For £8, we have sold the Gantt Overshirt. It's a really, really nice one. I actually picked this up off Tom for, I think, a fiver at the car boot sale because I was going to wear it. Finally got round to the colder weather, put it on. It was a bit too big for me, so sold it on. I actually asked Tom for his permission first. I don't, you, if you ever buy anything for yourself, then you end up reselling it. You haven't got to ask permission. Don't know why I did it. I didn't really ask permission. I just sort of let him know what I was going to do. But yeah, so I made three quid on top of that. £8. Oh, where's that one? Okay. It's just here. Spider-Man! T.Y. Beanie Baby. Miles Morales. This one has sold for £3.33. pence. I think I paid £1.50 for it. And we got a message on here as well. Had to buy something from your store. Just wanted to say thank you. Watching your videos with my wife honestly changed our life. Learning to sell from you via Chazza's boot sales, etc. has got us out of debt and we're really thankful. Keep up what you're doing. You're a top guy. Thank you, long-time subscriber, Richie and Angel. Man, I love to hear stuff like that. From you watching my videos and learning a bit here and a bit there, you've got yourselves out of debt, made a positive impact on your lives. I need to learn to appreciate that more. I don't quite see the reality in that just yet. I don't think it's kind of sunk in that. Because to me, this is just my garage, my house, my life, what I do, my job. And I'm just making content about what I do. And I'm realising that the more... Even though I'm not trying to teach you anything, I'm just showing you what I do. And if you can learn stuff, cool. You'll know when I'm trying to teach you something, I'll tell you specifically. But yeah, I just, I just like... I'm glad I'm having that impact on you guys. Anyway, yeah, massively appreciate you both. Such lovely words, and I'm so glad that that's happened for you. I've just taken a look at your Vinted page as well. Mines hyphen I. Mines I. You've got some good bits on there. So if anybody likes this kind of stuff, head on over to Mines I on Vinted and go and check them out. eBay sales now. Got a little bit chilly. I've had to go and whack the old coat on. You may remember from the car boot sale I've just been to where I paid £70 for a massive bundle. Some chap actually got a bit confused with my pricing. I had to put him straight in the comments. Bless you. No hate. Just I had to make sure you was aware that you was incorrect. You can go back to that video and check the comments for that one. But this is a Trix Railway. I took a chance on it. When I got it home, the power pack has rusted and corroded. And the other carriages have signs of rust and damage and wear. I've mentioned all that in the description. I put it on bid starting at £19.99. And it achieved... £38 plus shipping, so £42.95 we got back on this. After fees and everything, I'll probably be left with, I don't know, what's that, so six pack, maybe left with like 35 quid. Paid 70 for everything. I have made plenty of money back from that deal already. I sold the two Funko Pop things for about 15 in total. So we've got 35 plus 15. No, you can't. See if it books any third. Excuse me, I left every notification on my phone, my iPad and my MacBook. So we've got 35 back from the train, 15 from the other bits, that's 50. And I've sold something else as well from that bundle, which I'm going to show you in a minute. And we've got a few other things listed. In fact, I'll show you the other thing now. That was the Tonka Dozer. Well, £4 for this originally. This is what brought my eye to the stall. I actually saw this, went over, then looked up and was like, oh, what a gold mine you've got here. And then put a big bundle together. This needs restoring i've put that in the description somebody's already tried to restore it once and it's just a amateur job paints amateur they've painted over rust marks and whatever else again all mentioned in the description this is sold for 35 pounds all in free postage so it's going to cost me about four or five maybe six pounds to send that so that on top of that on top of the funko pop stuff is about break even point and we've got a listing of the hornby railway master hut whatever it's called we've got the perfumes which one of you guys actually wants but i need to dig it out find it and then reach hold of you again and i think there was something else as well there was but i can't remember but we're gonna be okay we're okay we're out of the danger zone we're into the break even now we're just gonna move forward to the profit my daughter's kicking off i'm sorry if the mic picks it up now kla antiques you didn't leave a note but i recognize your username i'm getting good at this today has picked up a couple more items six pounds 78 he's picked up this sharp memory Calculator thingy bob, whatever you call it. I think I paid £1.50 from the charity shop for that. And he's also picked up these, which I think are pretty cool, to be honest with you. So these are actually from the Kent models. So they're like 
they are like oh branding merch type thing you get these in model kits when you buy them sticker and a key ring i bought a back to the future model kit from kent models and it was already pre-owned and badly put together so i had to just chuck that away there was literally no saving it at all i tried i did, I did look there was nothing to save nothing and kept these these have sold for four pounds 56 so steve over at kla antiques i think on vintage and ebay please do go check out his stores thank you so much matt i do appreciate it they'll be on their way to you today eight pounds 99 we've sold a bt phone charging dock this one's for the bt aurora 1500 plus power supply they owe me nothing now i always buy bundles and put them together or split them out if they're worth splitting out or if i get some that are broken and some that are not then i'll make the splitting out bundle again 8.99 all in owe me nothing for £10.99 is the Dyson Attachment Hoover Head. This act I said Hoover. Wow, sacrilege. Hoover is a brand, not an item. A lot of people do that. Tangle Free Turbine Head Tool. This sold for £10.99. The Ergo Socade that I mentioned that I picked up a little while ago for £2.50. The average price on these is about £24 pre-owned. I said I'll always list my stuff like this a little bit cheaper to give the person who's buying it, who needs it, the opportunity to grab it, just a little bit under market price, but not low enough where you stinky resellers can buy it and make some profit on it. So I know that these types of things normally go to where they need to go to. This one sold for 15 99 Black leather army boots. I picked this up from a car boot sale for about two pound, I think they were, or four pound. Had them sat around for ages and ages and ages. Finally got around to listing them the other day. Trust me, it takes me a long time to get my stuff listed. Unless it's absolutely pristine it doesn't basically these needed a wipe over that's all i had to do so they went into my to-do list pile so anything that has something that needs to be done before i can list it it goes over there anything that can just be brought in and just chucked on the side like this for example just popped in and popped on done easy these needed actual wiping down and a little bit of manual labor anyway i'm waffling paid two to four pound i can't remember exactly but i would not have paid more than that in my head i can see it as four pound i bought it from a red in car boot sale i'm sure They've sold for £34.99. These are military issue army boots in a big size 12. I'm nearly a size 12 to be fair. And last but not least from Adrian and Karina, the ones who picked up the vintage Butlins biscuit tin. Vintage Butlins biscuit. No, I won't do that again. They have actually picked up this vintage porcelain biscuit tin. Vintage porcelain biscuit tin. Vintage porcelain biscuit tin. I don't know how I've got 15,000 subscribers on her, if I'm honest. I, don't, I wouldn't mind if you all left now. This was part of that £15 bundle with the Michael Jackson books and the little elephants and all that kind of stuff for the keen viewers of the channel. So I think she wanted a pound originally, but I did a bundle. This is sold for £11.99. Thank you so much, guys. I do appreciate it. On its way to you today, vintage porcelain biscuit team. Oh, I'm hungry. Jesus. And that is all the sales. If you want to see me buying some of this stuff, check out this video here, which is where I picked up most of it, to be honest.